I think for our first real scrimmage, um, first of all, we got to the right number of plays one to get. I think we ran 98 plays tonight. Uh, the goal was to get right about 100. Um, so we, we got the right amount of work. Obviously, there were some some pretty significant guys that didn't participate tonight um, that if it was a real game day probably would have. But it was a real chance for a lot of the younger guys to, uh, to play on both sides of the ball. Um, felt like there was a lot of big plays tonight, whether it was on offense and or defense. And I don't know necessarily that's a, that's a really good thing for us. You know, I thought we got a little sloppy with the football offensively there for a little bit. Uh, and obviously giving up some big plays in the passing game on the defensive side of the ball. So a lot of that comes with the discipline of it and being on, being on the same page. And when you've when you got some young players out there, we're going to have to go through some of those growing pains um, for, that to, you know, for, for us to get through that stuff. So um, I thought it was competitive. Um, you know, there was a lot of contingency work done today. Obviously, Peter McBride was the long snapper tonight with, with, uh, with Zach. Uh, with Zach was sick tonight, so Peter got in and first snap, you know, shoots it over, shoots it over the holder's head. But after that, I thought he settled in and did pretty good. So it's a lot of those different types of scenarios for us that, that went to work. Obviously, Nelson didn't go very limited with Buck. He, he's going to be fine. Um, we checked him out. He landed on his shoulder, but he'll be okay. Um, couple other things of note from an injury standpoint. Jalen Green was held out. He's got a uh, abdominal strain uh, that he's got had the last couple of days. I'm just trying to give him a couple of days to rest to get back. Uh, Jordan Austin um, had surgery this morning on, on his, on his, I believe it was his right hip. He's going to end up having surgery on both hips. It's very similar to what Zach Banner had. Um, we knew it coming into training camp. We wanted to try to get a week or so out of him in practice just to get him working and then get the surgery done and start the rehab so he'll be ready for spring practice. So uh, that was it was all orchestrated very well for us that way. Um, you know, and all in all, you know, coming to the Coliseum and having a scrimmage for the first time, um, I thought there were some really good things. I thought we showed a little bit of anxiety, um, which we need, to, we need to fix. We were a little excited early on which I appreciate the excitement, but we have to be able to show our composure uh, and do things the right way and do them with discipline. And so that'll be stuff that we'll work on moving forward. You said Nelson, why did Nelson not participate? Just out of sheer decision going oh, in. Oh, he's held him yeah. out? Yeah, he and wasn't going to go. you said Buck fell on his shoulder? But yeah, early okay. on, but he's okay. Yep. Okay, what happened to Cody? Um, it was probably one of the worst football plays I've ever seen, first of all. <laughs> um, he came out and he was going to run a kind of a naked bootleg and dropped the ball, then tried to pick it up and couldn't and got rolled into. And I think he was laying there with a little bit of a bruised bruised pride or bruised ego. Uh, he's not injured. He's fine. But I think there was a pretty good moment of embarrassment. I said it could have been a lot worse. There could be 94,000 people in here and you do that. So let's not ever do that one again. So he was embarrassed. What were, what were the thoughts going through your head as he lay there? I had a pretty good view of it, so I didn't feel... I wasn't as concerned as probably other people were. I had a pretty good view of it. His foot didn't get stuck, where that's the concern when people fall in is that your foot is stuck underneath. His foot came out really naturally, and I think that's the beauty of playing on natural grass, quite honestly. If we're on turf, it might be a different story. What about Stephen Mitchell? He was kind of, he didn't see much yeah, action. He's, been, he's just been a little bit sore. You know, he's yeah. been sore here for the last probably four or five days. Um, again, we've just been trying to monitor his reps and, and work him back into it. Um, you know, so there was some, there were some good things. It was, it was good for a Jane who's had a great training camp to come in, and now he's getting tackled for the first time, and boom, the ball comes out. So there's little, a lot of little things for individuals to, to work on to get better at um, that will ultimately improve us as a team. Sorry, talking about Justin Davis tonight. Yeah, uh, Justin played really well. We've been challenging Justin. You know, we didn't have him in spring. Um, you know, he's coming off of the, the foot injury and we're really just trying to get his confidence back. I thought Justin played really well. I thought he ran hard. He's got a really sore thumb right now, and so catching the ball has been a little bit of a struggle for him. But he caught the ball well out of the backfield today. I thought he competed at a very high level. It's like a lot of the young defensive backs are really showing up. Chris Hawkins, Plattenberg, yep. uh, Jonathan Lockett made some plays tonight. Yep. Did you notice that? Yeah, they, they, they did. You know, Lock had the block on the field goal. We finally went live field goal block, which was encouraging. He got that one. Chris had the interception. Um, Plattenberg has been very impressive early on. He's got a high football IQ. Um, and Lamont showed a lot early. You know, it kind of got that little bit of a freshman lull in training camp, and now we need to get them back going. But they got a lot of work tonight, and we challenged them intentionally quite a bit. We threw the ball down the field at them quite a bit tonight to uh, 
to get them that work, to understand the importance of staying on top and not giving up the deep ball. So uh, plenty to learn from. How many of those 98 snaps did Toa go on? Was he going uh, with the ones and twos? It, there was there? quite a bit of that. We rotated pretty good, um, but he was working with the ones at guard and with the twos at center. Um, the exact number, I, I, I don't know. I'll have a better answer for you there in a couple of days. But a lot, though. Oh, yeah, he played, he played a lot and played well. He, Toa's, a, Toa's got a real warrior mentality. He's a tough-minded guy. Um, he never never gripes. It's always the more you can do mentality, and, and he definitely shows that. Were you pleased with the running game tonight? Uh, I, I think so. You know, we, we really tried to stress running the ball downhill tonight and, and uh, in between the tackles, and whether it was with the power game or the inside zone game, I thought it was, it was effective. Um, as I've said before, the run game's a little easier when Antoine and Leonard aren't in there uh, on the defensive front. But all in all, I thought we targeted pretty good in the run game, and we were on the right people. And when you do that and you have good backs, then you can create you can create running lanes, and then that becomes the quarterback's best friend. You're able to utilize the play-action pass. You're able to throw the ball down the field. The pass rush is a little bit slower, and I think we saw some of that as well. One more. Did you expect to have so many true freshmen? finding their way this quickly? Well, I, yeah, probably. You know, we needed them. And I, I said that early on, that we're going to need these guys. And for us to do what we think we're capable of doing, we we're going to need some, maybe not all, but some of these guys to be real contributors. And the only way that's going to happen is by throwing them in there, by putting them in there day one. And, and we've done that. Um, and, again, we've had some growing pains. They've also done some really good things for us. But... The only way they're going to get better is by doing it. And so that's why we really tried to stress them tonight. We really tried to emphasize those guys tonight, get them involved in what we're doing, and, and learn from some of the ups and the downs and some of the mistakes and some of the good plays, um, and then get to the film and, and teach off of it and, and come back here in a couple days and, and get going again. Thanks, sir. Okay, guys. Thank you.